Hi guys, and welcome to Blood and Wine Part 8, where we have just won another part of the tournament. And we are now following Vivienne to see what she's up to late at night. Vivienne! Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Come check the dress now. Into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Hmm. Let's look for clues. Ah, he has a clue. Are you a bird? Do you turn into a bird? Bet you do. Can I not check the bird? It looks like I should be able to check the bird, but I can't check the bird. Hmm. Is there anything else I should check? Doesn't look like it. Flew off. Oh. Worth going after. Oh, okay. We're following the bird. Maybe like she bird turns into the bird, though. Oh, dear. I have gotten myself right stuck there. Bird! Wait for me, bird! But, I mean, if it is her, then I can't talk to her. Maybe she's leading me to the person who cursed her. It's definitely a while away. A panther? That is so random! No, I don't care. I'm brute forcing you. I have a bird to follow. Four raw meat. Wow. Big panther. Taking a shortcut, bird. Oh, you're going this way. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Guess I'm not taking a shortcut. Oh my god, where are you going? And is that another panther? I don't have time for you, panther. I have a bird to follow. You don't understand. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't do this again. Oh, we did it again anyway. There's another one, isn't there? Yes, there is. Still don't have time for you, panther. I'm not gonna kill every panther on the road there. That's too many panthers. Ha! Ah, I bet we could turn that into a movie. a lot of wooden bridges here and the panthers at least give up quite early oh you dropped you didn't drop you're going on you're a very indecisive bird are we there yet bird we're a long way from home is that what's that no that's Earth just herbs over the hill might be quicker to pass through the cave. Uh, might be their only way, really. What on earth? Okay, we've not seen these before. Maybe we should kill the white first. I don't know. Vargas, by the way, you find in the first Witcher game. They are cursed. First hounds. Oh god, okay, we're not killing the bar guest first. Because they just respawn all the time. And you're on fire. No, oh, let me kill this guy. Let me kill your master. Okay, you just stay alive then. Okay, but not for long. So that's okay. Okay, we've established that we do not like these creatures. Monster stomach. Not seen that before. I want to know what's on the other side though. What's here? Hello? Hello? Some blood moss. A skeleton. Hello, skeleton. 
skull torch first scrap which looks remarkably like a squirrel still and a chain we're gonna take that and we're gonna take the flask as well we're gonna take all of it just in case you never know but there, there's actually nothing else here i had to know though this was important what's this what what are you you're silver seven silvers that's a lot of silver okay it was actually worth checking out who doesn't want seven silver? It doesn't show up on your map either. Oh. Geralt, stop that. Hi, bird. Bird, eventually you're going to have to land somewhere. And, uh... Show me where we're going, because... This is getting a little bit ridiculous, bird. Oh, we're there. Well. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, that I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? You're a proper bird, that's what you are. Ah! No? Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna assume that you're, you, you're cursed by something. Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. I swear on the heron. I'm gonna say that because... no, oh god, yes I will. I will be discreet. I swear this on the heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've gotta trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, it claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Ah, poor little bird. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. Well, 
And then it turned you into a bird. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. That is quite probable, yes, but I happen to be an expert in lifting curses. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. I'm a lift your curse. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Ooh. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Okay, well, <laughs> guess that's out. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree, wholeheartedly. I see why, I understand. Don't have to decide just yet, think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? I'm going to stay here for a little bit and see if I maybe can find something about that creature. I think I will. I think I'll stay here a little longer. As you wish. Then I shall see you on the morrow. Right, so... I wonder if I can find anything. Let's see what the quest updated with actually. What does it read? Um Hmm. Nothing really. Okay, let's go and see if we can find any of the creatures in the forest that aren't wolves. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wait. Oh, that's a bunch of boars? It is a bunch of boars. Damn, you're up. Oh my god! Oh my lord! Calm down! These things are monstrous. 
I just wanted to loot. Oh man, oh man, there's so many of them! Come back, come back, you were almost dead, I need you! Come, 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 come. No, 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 no. I can't even target him properly. Why doesn't it just... Okay, hold on. Because it's not doing the targeting anymore. Why isn't it? Not additional content. No, go away. Combat. Buffs. It does, it just doesn't- what? I need to set him on fire, that's what I need to do. Also, I don't actually have any more- Oh dear. No! Come on! No! I'm going to die, aren't I? It's gonna be horrible. Can I save? Oh god, thanks. <laughs> I saved. Where is he? There you are. Okay, that's one! These things are brutal, though. Let's read the glossary on this. Wild boars. There's two wild boars entries, okay. Igni and Irden. Really? Also, is my sword broke? Is it my silver sword? Yeah, it's my silver sword, who cares? Oh, well, I guess he is on fire. That's nice. Is he permanently on fire? Oh god. I am maybe screwed anyway though. Oh, yeah, I am. I should maybe use less time <laughs> thinking about stuff and more time dodging boars. It's a good thing I saved though, just there. That would have sucked. Oh dear. But we're not done yet, Boris. Uh, that stench. We're going to keep rolling, rolling. Actually, I'd say that, but there's maybe a bit too much rolling involved here. Oh, I missed him. Well, he just ran off. He ran straight off. And gored me in the face. And gored me in the face again. Because there are three of them. They're on fire. Literally. This is ridiculous though. still hit me though. They don't even care. What now? I will loot what's around here and you can't stop me. Please stop running away. I beg of you. No, I just want to kill this one! Thank you. I just shielded it! You horrible creature! 
Then again, I am here killing wild boars, so I shouldn't really talk. Wait, why aren't you on fire? You're supposed to be on fire now! Why aren't you? I need- I'm sorry, I need to- I need to know what's in this forest and you're- You're going to keep attacking me, so... Come, boar. Why did I not set them on fire anymore? Why is that not a thing anymore? Or bleeding, really? Anything? And I might get gored. broke it again, didn't it? I think it did. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, though. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Whew. Dear me. Okay. So, what do we see in this meadow? First loot whatever's here. Maybe the creature that cursed him has already been dead for a while. For a long while. No, probably not. I mean, it's a magical creature, right? It wouldn't be dead. Is that what you've been killing? Hares? That's really rude, wild boars. Why is a wild boar killing hares? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So around this little lake. Let's check out the wolves first. Just feel like maybe we're just kind of destroying all the wildlife here. But although maybe that'll trigger the creature to come and help the creatures of the woods. Oh dear, mistakes were made. One down. Set on fire after they die. Well, instant cremation, I guess. Sorry, Warg. My apologies. I don't think the creature cares about wolves. What are those? Panthers? No. Those are like spider creatures. Endergon? Yeah. What, what are you? Yeah, arachnomorphs. Oh god, you look even more like spiders than they already did. did is that, was that really necessary? Was it necessary to make them spidery like her? Because I don't think it was. Just, just throwing it out there. I don't think it was. Okay, I'm gonna fix my sword. Because I'm using a silver sword and I uh, I should I should maybe not do that. Well, it's broken, right? No, let's not do that. That's an armor's tools. That's an armor's tools. For weapons. Oh, dear lord. I just realized. I'm wearing different armor. And I also didn't glyph my cat armor. <laughs> but what I should do is actually equip my normal gear. That's Viper. Wait, is Viper better right now? I think it is, isn't it? Maybe I should just have Viper. Let's do Viper. That's not it. Is that Viper? No, that's Feline. That's Viper. I think we're full Viper now. Yes, yes we are. 
Did I not also have a viper sword? I did have a viper sword. What did I do with that? Because I know I had a viper sword. Don't tell me I sold it. Oh dear lord, I bet I sold it. What is wrong with me? Maybe I just can't use it yet and that's why it doesn't show up. They wouldn't do that to me, right? Because <laughs> I know I picked it up. Why are you just backing away? Eh? You wanna tell me that? Why are you backing away all the time? Well, I think we found out why. Who doesn't know how to fight? Mutagens. Lovely. None of them seem to know how to fight. What? Ugh. They look really creepy though. Show me what you got. Uh, show me what you got as they back away again. Like really, really backing away. I wonder if the Viper armor is making them back away. <laughs> Seriously wondering now. Okay, one more big guy left. Just you and me now. You don't seem to be so prone to walking away all the time. Okay, I take it back. You do seem prone to walking away all the time. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's just a slowdown. It doesn't do anything. I'm gonna axe this guy. Or not, or he starts doing this again. He doesn't care! He doesn't care about Axie! Okay, what is your weakness? Let, tell me, tell me right now. Are you beasts? No, you're not. Are you curse ones? No, you're not. Are you... you're insectoids. And you have two entries again. Ard and Axie. Well, that's... that's not even true. We have established that that's not even true. I'm getting so tired of your running away right now. And I can't see anything because the, the grass is too high. No! What on earth is wrong with these things? Okay, we'll try art. We're gonna do it. Or we can die. We can also do that. Let's do that, apparently. Come back here. What? Okay, so... Well. <laughs> that was inconvenient. No! Did he break my- he actually broke my shield with that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, let's try it again. This time you're not breaking my shield before I get there. Okay, that seems to work out. Okay, so art. Just a lot of art. And you still only drop a lesser blue... I... That, okay, well, that's all they drop. Right, we're going to uh, continue our investigation of these woods in the next episode. I hope there are less spiders. Probably not, though. Probably not. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Guru enacted the mark.
left scene looks like an expired. Or did something kill her? Wonder what'll happen if I reenact the scene. Hmm. Need to backtrack along her prints, then light the candles in the same order she did.